Hello and welcome to the AFL Auto Blends 3D Car Creation Channel. In this video I want to show you a sample of what I'm working on at the moment to give you an idea of what can be achieved in Blender. Blender is a free open source software 3D modeling package. Um, I will show you how to obtain Blender and download it in another video. I'm following an in-depth tutorial course um, created by Albert on his Natural Art Freak YouTube channel. I've included the link to his channel in the description of this video. Okay, so let's get started. So if you press, if I press number one on the keypad, we can see the front view of the um, Mercedes G Wagon that I'm currently working on. Pre by pressing keypad 3 it brings up the left side view of the vehicle. Control key and 1 brings up the rear image of the vehicle. And lastly key press 7, keypad 7 brings you up the top view. These are the, the four views that are fairly essential to, to modeling. Um, again, I will show you in future videos how to set up your blueprints, how to, where to get your blueprints from, or even create your own blueprints based on whatever car you wish to produce. Anyway, to get into what I've actually created, um, we'll go over to this render layer um, and we'll pick up a fixed frame. So the fi fixed frame is, as you can see when I go into isometric views, um, is, the, is the frame of the, of the vehicle. If you can see the, the finished vehicle on the right, that is a, a photograph of a real vehicle and that's what I'm trying to model. So as you can see with, with Blender you can get really good details which you can which you can model accurately or however you want really you can customize it if you wish. Okay, so the next so if I apply that to the views, that's what you can see on the relevant on the relevant views. Okay, so that's just the fixed frame. Um, the next one is the fixed frame ledge, which I'll show you, which is the ledge, the channel that runs along the top of the of the frame and extends down the side, the, the, the pillar at the front. Okay. The next one I want to show to you is the front bumper. So again, there's the front bumper, which is modeled again. Quite, quite accurate detail. Um, we then add in the front doors, which I've modelled and uh, hopefully got the right um, gaps in between the panels. Um, the next one is the front fender flares, or in, if you're in England, the front uh, wing flares. Um, there's the front wings or fenders. Okay. Now this is the the front shell, um, which is is basically the grill housing and the front headlight housing. Then we've got the the hood in American or bonnet in English. Then we add the rear doors, the rear fender flares, the roof. trunk or tailgate and that's um, about where I've got to at the moment I'm currently um, working on I'm currently working on editing the the front bumper tweaking it a little bit and um, then I'll move on to the rear bumper um, the course 
created by the natural art freak by Albert um, is is readily available on YouTube as I will show in the link below um, it's very in-depth but each each chapter or each video he, he uploads is basically anywhere up to 30 minutes okay and there's over a hundred of these videos in the production um, unlike unlike most modelers for for, for for 3d for cars um, he goes into into great depth and actually he and produces most of the parts you see on a vehicle whereas other people you find other tutorials you find on on, on cars basically do a, do a pretty good um, likeness to, to a vehicle pretty good quality um, and they tend to, um, to to make them essentially for CG for com for computer graphic for, for games etc okay my aim is is mainly to to do this as a hobby to to create something as realistic as possible on the screen yet with the ability that if I wish to actually be able to 3d print them um, as a, a, a static model or my preference is to actually convert them into um, into into radio controlled vehicles uh, of one tenth one tenth scale that's what I aim to do I've had a little I've had a few um, I've created a, a door from another vehicle and managed to print it um, so I know I can do it and um, as I say I'm in the learning process at the moment um, future videos that I do um, I'm hoping to do a broad range of of anything to do with vehicles cars trucks anything uh, even motorbikes um, and what I want to do is to I've got a passion for um, customized cars um, whether they be American or English um, so I'll also do some um, critiques on on car shows um, give my spin on what's the best car show out there um, whether again that's English or, or, or American um, there's lots of good lots of good things to watch on TV regarding cars customizing um, so I'll try to bring you all that sort of content in the in the future. Also, I'd like to um, to include some some short videos of of, of car race, historic car racing, and that sort of thing. Um, most modelers of today will do this sort of thing: the G wagon or supercars or or. All sort of cars that are uh, are up to date. Um, I want to go across the old spectrum and, and build things from the early nineteen hundreds, um, and just give my own spin on it. I, I quite like the idea of nineteen thirties or forty forties cars produced in a in a radio control format. That's what I aim to do. Um, so thank you all for listening. And tuning in um, if you wish to see more content please hit the like button below and subscribe to my channel thank you very much